All right, in this last video in section 14.3, we'll look at problem number eight that says the city surrounds a bay as shown in the figure below. The population density of the city in thousands of people per square kilometer is given by delta of r theta, where r and theta are polar coordinates and distances are measured in kilometers. So part A is asking us to set up an, in, an iterated integral in polar coordinates, giving the total population of the city. Okay, so since we're given the density function delta, if I take that density function and I multiply it with our little dA differential area element, this product here is going to tell me the population in this little differential area. And then if I sum those populations up as we range over our city, I'll call that say R, that's going to give us the total population. This is the same idea we applied when finding the total mass of a thin metal plate where we were given the mass density function. Okay, so now part A says to set up an iterated integral, so to do that I'll go ahead now and say well uh, if we're going to use polar coordinates, then we're going to let theta range from pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2. And then r is going to range from 1 to 4. And we're integrating our uh, delta density function. And our dA would be r dr d theta. Okay. Great. Uh, for part B, it says the population density decreases the farther you live from the shoreline of the bay, and it also decreases the farther you live from the ocean. Okay, so here is the bay in this, in, uh, this little half disk here, and this would be the shoreline of the bay in green. And so we're saying if we move away from the shoreline, then our density function will have to decrease. Okay, so here on the, sh on the shoreline itself is when the density would be uh, uh, large and then I'm going to start to walk away. So imagine fixing a theta and walking away along this radial line. Your density function is going to decrease along that line. So looking at our options, right? Uh, which one of these satisfies that condition? And that condition could be stated as Delta decreases as R increases. And again, think of for the moment as theta being fixed. Well, if theta is fixed, then the second factor in each expression is constant. So here I have 4 minus R, 4 minus R, and 4 plus R. And 4 plus R would actually be increasing as I moved radially outward. So I know it cannot be this third option. Okay. Now, we also know that the density is going to decrease the farther we live from the ocean. So now, imagine being close to the ocean, say over here, and now moving away from the ocean, and I'm going to fix my radial distance. So think about moving along a circle like this. Okay, How would my density behave along one of these circular contours? Okay, Well, I see, for this top arc, since I'm moving away from the ocean, my density would have to be decreasing as theta goes from pi over 2 to pi. And then on this bottom arc, since I'm moving towards the ocean, my density would have to increase. Okay, So that can be summarized here as, well, density has to decrease as theta ranges from pi over 2 to pi. Again, thinking about r is being a fixed value, and then my density would have to increase as theta goes from pi to 3 pi over 2. Okay, So out of these two options, which one will satisfy these two conditions? Well, 2 plus cosine, what's that going to do? Uh, well, the cosine of pi over 2 is 0, and the cosine of pi is negative 1. So cos cosine will decrease from 0 to negative 1, and so 2 plus cosine would also decrease. So this first option does satisfy this first condition. How about 2 plus sine theta? Well, the sine of pi over 2 is 1, 
and the sine of pi is zero, and so the sine would also be decreasing uh, on this interval from pi over two to pi. So that second option also satisfies then this first condition. What about the second condition? Well, cosine is gonna go from negative one up to zero. So the two plus cosine then would be increasing on the interval from pi to uh, three pi over two. So it would satisfy the second condition. What about sine? Well, the problem here is that sine is still gonna be decreasing because sine will go from zero down to negative one. And so we know then it's not option two. And so our density would then have to be this first option, four minus r times the quantity two plus cos theta. All right, and then the last part says, estimate the population of the city. And that's just really asking us to compute this double integral up here that we set up. And so I've gone ahead and just done that for you here. And you can uh, uh, pause the video and check for yourself. But um, you wind up getting 18 times the quantity pi minus 1,000 people. So it's about 38 and a half thousand people roughly. Cool. All right. So we'll stop there and I'll see you next time. Thanks.